viewers and welcome to Andy Day TV. Today in our studios we have a very beautiful lady. She's full of fashion, she's full of wisdom. She's like the shutter of the gospel scene. Today we have in the studio Alice Mackenzie. Welcome Alice Mackenzie to Leicester Girls. Hello, thank you for having me. Wow, you're welcome to the studio. Thank you. You look so beautiful, and I must you. say. Wow. Uh, one pretty lady. And, oh, wow. Um, look at see, you. You're talking about fashion. Look at you. And, look, to and tell. look at you. I wouldn't even imagine you're a gospel musician. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. That's all for God. Oh, yeah. We, have yeah, to praise we give him praise to that. God. I mean, I mean, we give praise to God. So, people have been, that have a head of you, they'll have to know who's Alice Mackenzie. Alice is, um, first of all, a married woman. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Yes. Also, um, I'm a nurse by profession. Wow. I'm still, uh, well, I qualified many years ago, but I'm still doing my nurse practitioner. So mm -hmm. I went back to university um, doing my advanced nurse practitioner. Wow. Work. Yes. Wow. So I'm very busy and alongside I sing as well. Oh, wow. See, it's it for some of my mom. Or by fair fair. Ah, or sour tree. Or go school. But I am nurse. Mommy nurse. And we're UK. And to one of us. And then you're a nurse. And then the voice, Papa, or the two of them. And then Alice, welcome to Andy D.T. Thank you. So, Apart from being a nerd, mm. what else do you do? Do you just sing or? Oh, my hobbies. Mm -hmm. My hobby is singing. I love singing. Anywhere I go, I sing and I write songs. I love, these are my my favorite things aside nursing. And um, traveling. Wow, you love I traveling. Like, oh yes, I love traveling. I like to see different things in different countries. I always tap what is here, bring it here, mm -hmm. tap here, and just combine all of it. Good nature. Oh yes. wow. Love, oh, that's love something traveling. that I love to do as yeah. well. I love, I love to travel. Oh yeah. I can't even travel by myself. Sometimes I take a road trip. Yeah. When then, I'm when I'm not doing anything, I'm like, all right, let's go road trip. Yes, and yeah. the people people just ask me, how can you enjoy traveling by yourself? I'm like, yeah. sometimes you just need your me time, That's the right. serenity of it all, not to be disturbed by anything else. It's Precisely. just so lovely. Just see what is out there. Exactly. Oh wow. Welcome, yeah. welcome. That's that's so nice. That's it. Um, it's for best of who say, Alice. Otunyomo, UK, she's lovely. Obia Penasem, and the gospel artists for no more UK, and even no more Ghana, Uko Ghana. I just I watched the interview with Zion and Felix. I just said, Obia Penasem, who Alex. And then it was so nice. I even watched you, and wow. I was like, oh, that's a very pretty <laughs> lady. And she's so down to earth, yeah. and she's so lovely. That is his character. That yeah. Obia Penasem, Obeum, mm -hmm. no, Oya mm -hmm. for Anami mm -hmm. Wa. That's true, mm -hmm. that's true. Um, it's true what you said, no. Or be or her. I mean, you know, people see you and they judge you from what they see outside. But it's to me or with me, it's totally different. Yeah. What you see is the same as what's inside, inside me. You. My perception is what is the way I speak. I reflect it. I will mean you to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't use any different voice. I use the same. So. It said that the entire maybe I would say it said people like me or my personality draw people closer to me is because I don't fake it. Yeah, it's just the way I am. I present myself the way, the way you are, yeah, and that's really a good quality to have. Yeah, because now people are just faking it to be liked by people. Mm. But if you are so we are natural girl as yeah. I call it, we yeah, are so real. Yeah, be a Exactly, and I don't believe in faking. On the other hand, yeah, and then you come closer to me, and you know the in and out, the of, out me. of it, and then, and then that's where the lies start building up because you've you've lied so many times, and you have to just carry on with lying, it, lying, yeah, you know. And I, I I don't have the energy for that, so I might as well just present myself the and way and be I am real and be real. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah, and. So, you're a married woman, right? I am. I, I guess people don't see you as you're a married woman. I think the way you are so lovely, I know. they actually didn't think that, oh, you'll be a married woman. And I, I, and I wonder why. Strangely, I uh -huh. don't know. Even when I went to Ghana, not just in Ghana, every my colleagues, mm -hmm. um, people outside, when they see me, they're like, 
you're married. You have kids, really? No. I know, right? Yeah, but I am actually, yes. Um, I think you, you just well. present mm-hmm. yourself so well. So how does your husband take all these days? Like now you're very famous. Yeah. Everybody oh, know really? you and all that. I don't know about that. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You are famous. You are our queen. Hey. You are our queen of gospel in the UK. Thank yeah, you. Yes. So how does the husband take it? He is extremely supportive That's of good. what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. He actually encourages me because, um, like I said, I write songs and it, music or singing has always been my passion yep. ever since I was young. Yeah. But to come out, you know, because I do so many things and sometimes I just find it difficult to even have time, time for myself yourself. to do something. Mm-hmm. When I have a little space of time, I want to do something. I always want to explore, yeah. do different things. So he was like, you you can do it. Just sit down, calm down, and just focus on the music and see what God will you know, take you, need to, yeah, take mm-hmm. you or, and I said, okay, I'll consider it. So I had about so many songs um, that I recorded. Mm -hmm. And um, he said to me in 2017 that, I think it's your moment. You need to be bold and come out. So yeah, so he support me in so many ways. I mean, that's all we're hoping for. That is so lovely because in this profession that you are in now, it's always nice to get a a supportive Mm -hmm. partner. Mm -hmm. If you don't get a supportive partner, then that's where the problems start in the marriage and all that. Precisely. So so, so shout out to the husband. Yay, shout out, Nana. Hey, Hey, Nana. (laughs) So how are the kids as well? How are they? They're good. Um, So they they kind of, they are in their world. They, They... See me as uh, still mummy, yeah. kind of. They mm-hmm. don't see what goes on, to be honest. But my daughter dances with me. Sometimes oh, nice. when I go on a show, okay. she really loves dancing. So mm-hmm. he comes along with me. she comes along with me, and yeah, just oh, we make a good show. Oh wow! So what inspires your love for music? It's I grew up in church. My mom, I guess I took it from my mom. Mm. Um, my dad died when I was very young. Oh, and um, my mom was a very, um, I would say, a leader. One the of church, the leaders like in the church. Like a deepness. Like, like, yes, that's yeah. it. And she was a teacher as well. Right. So she was very strict. Even if you don't want to go. I was like a pastor's daughter. I kind know, of. I know, right? <laughs> I kind of grew up in the same environment as yeah. well. Where you wake up in the morning and you have to pray. Oh, that God, kind of you upbringing. Have to. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so she even if I don't want to go, she would drag me. No, mm-hmm. we have to go. Yeah. And me being the only child that was with her at, yeah. the, at the time, she was like she she she's the one that encouraged me or inspired me yeah. um, to do what I'm doing oh, today. That's lovely. Yeah, so it started from a very early stage of my life. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. It's always lovely to have mommy support like and that. the prayers that yeah. they support yeah. you with. That's so, so lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's so lovely. Um, your song, Ehunte, 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 that's a big word. It's a big it? word. <laughs> Every time I want to pronounce I'm like, am I saying it right? Ehunte, mm. Ehunte. What inspired that? It's very interesting. Um, we, we, Ehun Tehunu, in short meaning, um, is the hidden treasure in yeah. my interpretation. Wow. Because we talk about God, mm-hmm. but who is God? Yes. So, God is a hidden God. Yeah. Until you look for him, mm-hmm. you can never find who God Preacher is. Preacher sister. Can, I love that. <laughs> Preacher sister. You can never that. find who God is. So, I was like, oh, yes, that... It's actually true. God is a hidden God. Yeah. So he is a hinta ehunu, ehunu. someone who is hidden. But then you you can find if you if you look for him because we we get who is my my kids ask me, mom, why do we celebrate um, Christmas? Mm-hmm. So who is God all the time? They keep asking me, and I sat down one day and I said, that is actually true. We know there is a God. But where we see, who is he? We have to find him. Yes. If we don't find him, we can never seek. Oh wow! So that's you know, the meaning of it. You know, actually, I've heard that word before, but I actually didn't understand it. So thanks for yeah. this eye opener to that word. Mm-hmm. 
Can we have that song played up in the background in a minute? It's such a big song in the UK where everybody danced to it. <laughs> and you know what? The beats to that as well yeah. is so danceable. Yeah. Everybody that hears it wants to actually book it to it. That's right. And it's so lovely. So um, the Ghana Music Awards that's mm. been happening, the, I mean the VGM that's yeah. recently happening in Ghana, how did you find it? It was amazing. I think the the winners took it all, uh, in my in my view. Yeah. Um. So everyone who received an award was was um worthy of was it. worthy of it or deserving. Yeah. To so yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you, yeah. Go on. Oh no, you carry on. Okay. So you're inspired to get an award in Ghana next year. Definitely. That that reminds me. Last year yes. you were nominated for awards. new gospel artist of the yes. year in the UK. Yes. And how yes. was it? It was fantastic. It was my, the first time that I was nominated um, for the award. But for me, even though I did not win, it was so overwhelming to even be in that category. Yeah. Because it means that someone had actually acknowledged exactly. your good work. Yes. Because there are so many singers out there. Mm -hmm. So for your name to be picked and be added to that small number of people to be in, that means you've been accepted by accepted the people. Accepted by the people. So I was actually thrilled oh, to be in. It's so lovely to be rewarded, of course, after yeah. all the work you yeah. do, yeah. being a nurse, combining a yeah. being a mom and a wife, and then... Yeah. Your work be recognized. Such, so a yeah, yeah, such a fantastic feeling. Yeah, such a fantastic The Ghana Music Awards happening this year in the UK. Yeah. Are you being nominated again this year? Um, I'm or you sure. hope to be nominated? I, I the nominations hasn't started yet. Oh, is it? Has, it has it been opened? Because you know what? Um, I have a management team. Okay. So I don't really poke my nose so, into what's happening so much, in there. Yeah, okay. Because I know that's what they're there for. Yeah, do you exactly. Know what I mean? yeah. So, they will sort that out. Okay, that's but I, nice. I'm sure. I'm sure that the voting or the voting has not been started. It, it hasn't, hasn't been started start, yet. Okay. But I'm sure the nomination they're probably doing um, or the background work. So viewers of Andy D TV, this is the gospel artist here. So you all should rally behind her and vote for her, Alice McKenzie. Yes. Hey, I heard this thing about you. Like you said. You have mansions in Ghana. Ah. <laughs> I think it's just like the talk of the town that she is so rich. So I want to find out: Does music make? Does, do you make money for music? Um, because people people tend to find out that oh, gospel music does not pay, or uh, music in general doesn't pay now. Mm -hmm. So how do you find it? Is there any truth um, in it? What people have to know is that I'm still a baby in, in the music industry. Yeah. Gospel music is good, 
is for me is giving back yeah. to what God has done for us. Mm -hmm. The air we breathe in, we don't pay for it. Yeah. I mean, if you go to the hospitals and you see the number of people on ventilators, yeah. I mean, fighting for their lives, they can buy the oxygen, but they can't buy it because it's God gives it to you. Definitely. So, to me, it's not all about the money. Mm -hmm. It's about praising my maker. Yeah. But that mountain thing kind of took everything away I from think, what I was saying. Exactly. I think that's what everybody's <laughs> saying. That, oh, wow. She's got four <laughs> mansions. She's had two cars. Oh, How does she do it? I guess it's, it's showbiz. Mm, um, definitely. That's, that's the way Zion does sustain as well. <laughs> yeah. But if you, if you listen to the whole um, interview, interview. He was kind of poking me to say something. Things, you know? Yeah, I know, it's, I know. It's These not guys. me. Mm -hmm. It's not something I want to show off, uh, you know, about. We we work hard. I mean, um, I, I work 12-hour shifts. Exactly. I manage a whole lot of patients mm -hmm. and, and staff. Yeah. I get knackered mm -hmm. at work. Yeah. You know, so after all that, we get paid. Of course. And you have to pay your tithes, pay your offering, do good to others, and the rest is it's whatever you want to use enjoy. it to. And yeah, I guess even saying that, it's not even about showing off, it's about what you worked for it. Mm -hmm. So if you worked for it and you earned it, you enjoy it. And also, I think it's also like an inspiration for people to know yeah. that it's not all bad in music. Mm. That if you work yeah. hard at it, yeah. you can actually make yeah. money from it. Yeah. And so. I actually said it in the interview that Christianity doesn't have to be you being broke yeah. before you can be a Christian. Exactly. We we have to change that perception of mm -hmm. you know of Christianity. Yeah. You don't have to be broke because God created us in his own image. image. Exactly. And he said the hands does that does not work, work. Does, does not, not eat. eat. So if you're working and you get you get in your money, you might as well enjoy it, right? But if you don't work and you, you, you think God is going to provide you with all your means, yeah. um, I don't think it works like no, that. It so that, that was what that was <laughs> that, so that, really that was that's sure. what I, but you're not showing up. So no. you were, there you go. No. She wasn't showing up. And even if she was showing up, that's her money. She deserves <laughs> to enjoy her life. Anyway. Please, I don't have money. <laughs> Viewers, please, if anybody wants to support me, <laughs> Please don't feel any hesitation to it because I don't have money. I'm I'm a working mom and um, every every door is open. Is open. Oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. That reminds me when you were talking, you're talking about Christianity and how people's not seeing that perception. You see, I love your sense of fashion. Yeah. And being a gospel musician, do you get criticism from like the old folks, you know, before, if you had to be a gospel yeah. musician, they expect you to dress a certain way or behave a certain way. So do you actually get any criticism from people? The thing with me is that from day one, yeah. I have never changed. Yes. From when I was a child, when you see me um, behind my mom going <laughs> to church, Let's say on my the teacher, hair, yes. Um, ribbons mm -hmm. like a Christmas tree, yeah. you know. So that's how my mom raised, raised you up. me up. Yeah. Um, back home in Ghana, where I grew up, I, that's how I was. Yeah. And when I came to the UK, I never changed. So dressing or fashion has always been part, part of, of me. You. So and then I said the fact that I'm a gospel I love that. singer that you like that, <laughs> yeah, right? I love yeah. that. The whole combination. And, and the thing with me is that I don't show off mine or yeah. anything like that it's all covered yeah but it's the way you will present it i think if like, you're beautiful you're beautiful look at you so. look at the way you dress up you dressed up fully covered Decent. but you still look so sexy yeah. so nice oh, you know you. so, so that's you. how we everyone is different exactly. i can't dress like how other musicians dress yeah we have to be us yes and what are we presenting what are we evangelizing about we want the youth to come to us we yeah. want everybody to accept christ yeah you don't have to dress in a certain way that the youth can't come to you and um the the elderly people can relate to you you have yeah. to be sort of in the middle yeah. so everybody can relate to 
what kind of style you are and yeah. follow you mm -hmm. and say, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's how it is. I look at them shoes that was, over um, there. That, that was, was at right, um, Adom FM. I had okay. an interview in Ghana that was oh, right. last oh. month. Oh, we're in Ghana last month? Last month, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh. You look so pretty today. I love the Thank shoes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and everything that you put on suits you as well. So. I have to style it up. Mm -hmm. it's style, styling is one of the things that I love doing. Yeah. Um, I style so many people. Yeah. Um, when I have... Um, when the, what's it called? The award last year. The music award? The music award yeah. last year. What I had on. I designed it. Oh, wow. Talented I, as well. So everything I, I wear or I put on or so, mm -hmm. I designed just it. everything Sometimes my, my dressmaker said, oh my God, Alice, there we go again. <laughs> you just come because up with I'm your like, own okay, style. take this off, put this mm -hmm. in, do that. I yeah. think I should have been a, a designer. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think you should because yeah. your sense of fashion is impeccable. You're yeah. decent, yeah. still lovely and pretty. Thank so. you. Thank um, you. So viewers watching, young girls that aspire to be like Alice, this is the way to go. You don't need to expose yourself to no. be beautiful. You don't need you don't need to expose yourself to be sexy. It's just the way you combine yourself okay. and then you're born with you're it born as well. With it. And you don't need to break the bank as well no. to look beautiful yeah. as it's you can see. It's how you contrast. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. how you contrast. Just use the brain yeah. and just save some money on it as well. So Apart from music, do you love social me social media? I do. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you see the Your pictures chest, coming yeah. up, <laughs> it's I, all taken from social media. Uh, I guess, yeah. Um, I like social. I don't love it because mm -hmm. it can be Addictive. a very negative um, thing in our lives. Yeah, I like it. Um, having said that, um, I comport myself. Yeah. I seen when I have to go on it. Yes. I have an I had an exams um last month last week, sorry. And um this week I was having an exams. Yeah. I was finding it very difficult. Even my manager kept calling me and I kept refusing his call and I said, please test me later because I have to you know revise and yeah. I have an exam. I finished all my exams today. Oh, actually, well done. Today. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. So I know when to go on social media and I know when not to. Yeah, yes. so you're so disciplined in I'm yourself. I'm very disciplined and also I think my job kind mm -hmm. of restrict us because you can't be seeing patients and, and then and be using your phone uh, is against you know is the ethics, the ethics, of, ethics of, of the work and nmc um could have conduct so, yeah um yeah i do i do like it but i know how to go you by. know how to go by it. oh that's very lovely um time for a quick break on andy d tv show let's talk girls and we'll be back in a minute Maintaining a presence at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to and resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration, nationality, European Union and human rights law adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation, and so on, up to date, has been broken, and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK Border Agencies and Overseas Consulate, human rights law, and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law, locally in London, and across the borders in Ghana, where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15, 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203-1300-751. Hello viewers and welcome back to Andy D TV with our very lovely lady, beautiful lady, fashionable lady, the gorgeous Alice McKenzie here. So Alice, yes. I wanted to ask yes. you earlier, when did you start singing? Um, like I said, I started singing when I was very young, mm -hmm. but I started coming out as a musician in 2017. Yeah. That's when I came out with Saviour, my Savior, first single. Savior, first single, yeah. yeah. And then um, last year, mm -hmm. I came out 
um, wave a hunter who the hidden treasure. Yeah. And um, this year, I'm bringing a new one as, out as well. Wow. It's coming out next month in July. Watch out for the new Watch single. Out. And September, I'm launching the whole album. Oh, wow. So you wow. are welcome. Beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. So we all go. We from Andy D TV, we will be there to support this stream. Thank you. God. Thank That's you. That's such a lovely achievement. Your love for music, do you just love just gospel music? Or you love this um, shatters and the Stone Boys and hip life? It, and in fact, it's not yeah. bad to love, no. to be a Christian and love no, hip no, life no, no. or whatever. So no. if you have a good taste in I music. I do. I love music. It does not matter. Um, whether it's gospel or the secular songs, because they're like us. Yes. They're human like mm -hmm. us. We can't differentiate ourselves from them. And um, some of the songs that they actually do produce yeah. are actually good in, in the sense that you can, it's, it's what actually goes on in life. Mm -hmm. You can get an advice from it when you're sad, you can, you know, the songs that you can use to bring yourself up and yeah i do i Love do kojentri is actually my i was, was going to ask you like this <laughs> is your favorite all-time ghanian musician all -time favorite and what is your favorite kojentri tune mrika oh <laughs> <laughs> that happens with my favorite yeah, tune really yeah, yeah i yeah, just yeah. like it um i think when it came i was quite young i was not even a, a teenager then mm -hmm. But I don't know, for some reason, I just like just the, it. I just yeah. love Kodoji. I just, I just love the man. Yeah. I grew up listening to him, and he's become he's one of the dead. idols in Ghana. Really so. And I like um, Amachi Dede. Mm -hmm. I met him when he came for the UK tour. The UK just tour, recently. yeah. yeah. I met him um, backstage, and he's such a lovely man. Oh. I like the, the way he performs, the passion the the rhythm everything the the word in the song that's that's what is important one thing Not, I love, God, sorry yeah so for me to me is is the words in the song the content of yes. the song that's yes. what, very important than to the actual, actual branding of um, secular musicians mm -hmm. yeah in terms of brand you just mentioned branding what is your brand me. I'm me. You are just I'm, you. I'm my brand. You just, <laughs> Hello, Alice McKenzie. It's a whole brand of it's herself. It's a whole brand. It's a whole brand of yourself. Yes, so yes. get that. It's fashion. It's music. Yes. It's everything. Yes. So I I don't do um, just um uh, Gucci, LV, um, Armani or Chanel and whatnot. I don't do that. I mean. If I get Gucci, style. I can style it with Pramani. Exactly. I can style it with Go Zara. Pramani. I can style it with anything. So I believe that we are brand. You are brand. Gucci is a brand to, to, to himself. Yes. You know, Amani is a brand that that person built on, yeah. on or him or herself. Yeah. So it, I'm a, my own brand. She is her own brand, as yeah. you can see. That fashion, <laughs> her fashion sense is just what I've been admiring about her so much. And she designs most of her clothes herself mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So very soon I will be launching my clothing line. I won't so. be surprised. So hello <laughs> viewers. Get into that. Yeah. Alice McKenzie clothing line. And yeah. it has a name very nice. Yeah. Tune to that. Alice McKenzie. In fact, you know what? Alice McKenzie, when I even heard it, I didn't think you were Ghanaian when I heard the name. I think people have asked you that question before yeah. as well. Mackenzie is actually my middle name, so Whoa. it's Alex Mackenzie Ado. Oh, so, so Ado you are Ado. Husband. So people yeah. hear Ado and oh, she's Ghanaian, but when yeah. they hear Alice Mackenzie, they go they like, get lost. They, they, they actually get lost, they <laughs> yeah. actually get lost. Yeah. So bringing this but back to... in a way, no, a good though, mm -hmm. because it's I'm a brand. Know, I'm who Alice Mackenzie now, so, oh, we are kind of home, so let's let let's get that. And person. anyone who knows, who's face now? Oh, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and you know <laughs> what? Sometimes people that have these foreign names, yeah. it's an advantage to themselves because who can Juma? Yeah. And they hear the watches they, and the they adults go and, and all those mm -hmm. cool single and, and then they're one, and, 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 and the watches and the adults they mm -hmm. they put them away. 
So your metric home. Your metric home is uh, so that is the brand Alice McKenzie that we're going about with. So going back to social media, right? As you said, it's got negative and it got positive impact as well. Mm -hmm. So how do you use social media to market yourself? I use it in a way that if you see most of my my posts. I write a word of knowledge yeah. about it because if you if you put a word of knowledge there, people don't really look at it. They don't. They don't look at they it. They don't. So <laughs> you just have to use a picture, mm -hmm. you know, visual. People like visual Definitely, things. Definitely, yeah. So I try to spread the word, but then I use visual kind of to back it, to yeah. make it more current mm -hmm. and make it more interesting or... or um, Pulls you to, to go back and see yeah. what was under there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but if you see me on social media or you see my pictures, it's nothing really um, talking about someone. I don't have the energy. You don't for have that. the energy no. for that. That's good. I don't do beef with anybody. I don't have. I, I'm a very laid back, quiet person. When I go, I just get into my house. The rest is just it's me just and my family. So I don't want you to call me and say. <laughs> Oh, do you know, say now, no, 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 no. you don't, I don't like do drama that, in your so life. No. I no. don't do all those dramas mm -hmm. on social media or aside that as well. What you see me on there is the exactly same what you get. Thing, yeah. Come, going back to the beef thing, I don't know, recently there's been, there's been this people using social media in a mm. very negative way mm. Mm. where people actually will just sit down. No more for camera, see women, no more in your And I find it very, very shameful. Very, very shameful. So, how do you find those people? Don't Especially more, more when social... I see um, gospel artists, artists doing, doing that. that. I mean, we're serving the same goal. I know. Recently, know? there was this thing with um, Brother Sami and Ernesto Poco mm -hmm. and the Sanya Man. And I thought, mm -hmm. and then Cecilia Mafo. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, why? When gospel we music do not that, using so. it in a very good way. When we do that, we're trying to send a wrong picture or yeah. a message mm -hmm. to the viewers, and we confuse them. Definitely. You know, because if I wrong you, um, you're supposed to come to me oh. or um, meet up with me and say, okay, sister, brother, Seems what are you doing? You know, mm -hmm. And you know, let's sort it. I actually like what Shatawale and Stoneboy did. They, uh, they, oh, my respect. It just them, gone up to the roof. It's so big, you know. And that's what we're supposed to do. We, as Christians, supposed to do that for them to follow. Exactly. How many of us or how many of the Christian musicians have actually done something I like know, that? I know, right? So I think you, you understand my point when I say you. I get a lot of inspiration from the, the secular music, music people than because being Christians themselves. No, we need to stop the backbiting, the jealousy. Um, it's not necessary. Definitely, it, it's really not necessary. So, um, yeah, that's my intake about it. Yeah, that's so good because. Me personally, you know, say, yeah, you know, it's so shameful. It is. I'm thinking, how do you bring people? How do you yes. evangelize? Yeah. No more social media. No more young movie. I must have got to story them, and then nah. bring God into yeah. it and all that. It's so and shameful. And you know, the, the same people will see you and criticize you. Exactly. So I'm being so you know, two faced, yeah. hypocrite. So if you criticize me the way I dress. I think I rather will be happy mm -hmm. than to criticize me that this person or oh yeah, two faced. Yeah. That's a big word. It's a big yeah. word. It's a so big word. You rather criticize my my outside mm -hmm. and my inside is good. Because yeah. God yes. yes. Aye. But you see, as I say, you're changing your ways to, to, to say, lead. The, the kids get confused. They do get confused because such a they you know. Yeah, you need to like go um daughters of glorious Jesus, yes. Tego yes. sisters, and then the Sanko Forum. Yeah. And so they really take inspiration from yes. them. Yes. But now they they are young and they say, Omo Ma Ban and say, Omo in Omo in share their papa. No. And so no. Especially kids brought up in this country, mm -hmm. they get confused in the sense that on on Baba social media and I saw be quite sorry now. Well, who say okay? Ni mami ni wein kasa, and I say ni mami is um, bitching about. Um, the other they get confused that isn't it church mm -hmm. that you know you supposed say to be unity, unity, mm -hmm. and you and doing love. all this. Mm. So 
we need to set a good example. Definitely, definitely. Mm. So good, 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 good. Um, so, as we can see, can we pull you as the richest artist in the UK? Hey, yeah, rich as nice. gospel musician in the UK. I would like to think so, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> you, I mean, you look a million dollars. Please. So everybody will see you and think <laughs> that, you. oh, wow, look, look at these gospel musicians. No, She's so rich. No, She's no, so no, no. rich. I, I thank God for my life. Um, how far God has brought me, I did not start as um a rich girl or yeah. uh, coming from a rich family no it's all by the grace it. of god mm -hmm. and everything that i have today is is a team work yeah between me and my husband wow. you know so i'm not rich it's just 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 i'm comfortable you're comfortable I'm not rich. i need help you need help because yeah. this music is a really a whole lot of money from sync from the studio promotion your video yeah. um programs everything is costing you know so it's not that easy so if anyone is watching out there this is alice mckenzie and she needs help she is great <laughs> but she still she still needs a bit of support so anybody that oh, god man. can touch to come and support our lovely sister here <laughs> please do so go you know are you a controversial artist no i won't say that um, there's been this thing on the news as you saying that drinking alcohol is actually not a sin. What is your take on it? Do you know what? Um, I was talking about that in, in, in a medical kind of way. Yeah. Um, I don't drink, you know, and my intake on that was it's individual preference. Yeah. Having said that, it can damage your liver, mm -hmm. so you, you don't have to drink excessively, excessively to damage your liver or damage yourself. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you can also drink a small content of alcohol yeah. and it won't harm your body. Yeah. So, and the Bible actually said that, you know, in mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes chapter mm -hmm. seven, nine, seven, mm -hmm. nine, seven or seven, nine, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm right. And it says that Muntina se Namonosa. And then the Bible also said that Ejimifo Enomonosa Ebro. Do you know? So um, the, the Bible referenced a lot and quoted a lot. Yeah. So me saying that um, it's not bad to drink, I did not say you can drink and put your head down, no. mm -hmm. you know, just everything should be minimal. Yeah. Because even uh, in, in the medical field, sometimes we do prescribe um, Guinness, you know. Okay. I've seen so many patients that we've prescribed Guinness for them. Okay. And Guinness is alcohol as well. And it, there's so many things that are, you can get through alcohol. So when I said that, I didn't mean in a bad way. Okay. I think people people just got you wrong and thinking people that oh did. exactly, um, they misinterpreted what you said yes. by saying that you being a Christian yeah. and you're promoting yeah. the drinking alcohol. of alcohol. Yeah, no, I she didn't mean, mean it like I that. She's not like saying that. that. The camera? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she Please, didn't, I didn't mean, mean it. it like that. <laughs> so you heard it here on the DTV. She did not mean it no. like that. So please. No. Do not tag her as a drunkard. <laughs> or no one's that. Uh -huh. <laughs> no one's that. Or no one's that. Or no one's that. Or no one's that. Or no one's that. Sorry. Or when in Pye and Sadia and Kahu. But what was all no one's that? Yeah. She won't judge you. No. It's just your preference, yes. as she said, anyway. Yeah. So. Um, but then, anyway, we're going back. People might just say that, oh, but the Bible says, it says in um, Jeremiah 25, 27, that. Therefore, you shall say unto them that said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall yeah. and rise no more because of the sword which I send among you. Mm. So you read the Bible and then you judge you, for yourself. You judge for yourself. Because exactly. The Bible has so many interpretations, mm -hmm. you know, that there's so many. And mind you, it's, someone wrote the Bible, you know, so I always say that your pastor will teach you the word, but also have time mm -hmm. and read it, yeah. you know, to yourself. Mm -hmm. And you 
understand it in a way that is easier for you. Because other than that, people will come and tell you different things and yeah. it, it will confuse you. Yeah. Do what's best for you. If you think you will drink for you to get liver problem and you don't want to leave, that's your what, what, what cup of tea. Exactly. And you know, I never said so. I never said Because it has a negative effect or a disadvantage to our body. Um, so I think that these bloggers sometimes as well as they just want to trend oh, yeah. into what can be yeah. to, yeah. you know just then, switch it mm-hmm. and then so that we get views on yeah. them because that that interview that mm-hmm. I don't even it was like oh what's your intake about alcohol yeah and then you just and say I said something. me personally I don't drink but it's individual preference uh-huh. then um, so you know, yes, 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 a negative tool that people say and do and talk about anything. Yeah. So sometimes I even blame my Zuckerberg for even introducing live TV or whatever. Or even copy and go for a video. No, but they see many no more can be there and then tarnish people's image. Yeah. So please do not encourage that. So we've had a very very chat, very lovely chat with our lovely lady here, Alice Mackenzie. She's introduced us to her world. Now we've got to see what she does. She's just not a pretty face. She's actually a very intelligent lady who's been to school. She's a nurse. She's into fashion. Pretty lady. She loves what she does. She's a married woman. Those that didn't know, back <laughs> off. She's got her husband and at home and a lovely kid. So welcome to Andy Didi. It's been Thank nice having you, you here. Thank and you hope, so much. And hope you me. come back to the Andy D TV show. I will. I will definitely come back because it's really nice here. I like the vibe. You love the vibe. I like to be around you people. You it's know me. me. <laughs> you know me. So please, you're always <laughs> welcome will. back. So you're always welcome to Andy D TV. I will come back. So we hope to see you soon. Thank you. You haven't heard this lovely lady say she's got a very beautiful voice and we would love her to give us an acapella before we leave the studios. Do you know what? That reminds me when I was in Ghana, one of the yeah. radio stations. And um, the presenter was like, are you sure you're the, the, the same person who sang? Because it sounded like a very young person. Oh, wow. And looking at you, you look really a matured and a big woman. Yeah. And then um, he demanded me to give an acapella. Mm-hmm. And they were like, Oh, oh <laughs> so it's really you. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. Okay. Woo yo nyamia, wa kwa iya dosu, o yemfo nyamie, yeji na weni, yema usuda, si yenchi awa, inka yeji na biye ewohi. Oko kuro ko nyamie, e hunta hunu nyamie, o sajifu nyamie, ye ma usuda, ye bo usamurani. The mountain speaks, the song that all creation sing, the painted skies, the sun and the stars. The heavens tell how great that you are. Without a word, my law never sleeps, my law never slumbers. Oche sunya mia, oche mani suntati asu. Uyo nyamia, wa kwendo su. Oh, <laughs> 
Me Balsam Ronnie. <laughs> Lovely Alice Mackenzie. <laughs> Sister Alice Mackenzie. 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 S